What is going on, Fam Jam? It's another edition of Yeehaw or Hell Nah right here at Jaoja. So today we're going to revisit Ren. This is Money Game Part 3. This is the official music video. It came out a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I've done a few of the Ren songs. Very talented individual. Um, is a multi genre person. I'm not going to tie him to one genre. He's really solid does take me a minute to keep up if he starts really getting into rap I have to really concentrate on the lyrics um, so if you want to while we're watching you can uh, definitely check out some of the lyric tabs and let you know then uh, this one's a little bit of a long one this one's a nine minute video so let's go ahead and get started dive on into Ren money game part a three and see what we got fam jam let's go Stays wild with the videos. This is wild. Okay, so there he is. you a story about a boy named Jimmy One years old and his first words were Mine, mine, gimme Two years old he was walking Three years old walking quickly Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city Five years old and his daddy told him Listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man A man he works for what he wants Six years old and he's reading writing Top of the bunch And when he's seven His progression made him student number one Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen He ascends and ascends His daddy tells him Son, money is the means to all ends Fourteen, solving complex mathematical equations At fifteen, IQ a hundred and fifty Still elevating Sixteen, he developed Develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. 17 and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18 and his daddy tells him, Now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19 he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20 double down deposits. 21 his income rockets. 22 he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate, the data, then the lie will sell itself. 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name. Okay, we're gonna take a break. It's hard to get into a break with him. Um, interesting start for the first two minutes of the video. Um, vocally, it's nice, and then he comes at you <laughs> hard. 
in the lyrics, um, tell a story about Jimmy. Jimmy's very, very, very smart. Um, but right there got me with uh, the truth is an obstacle to wealth. If you tell a lie, it'll sell itself. That is some deep level stuff uh, that is completely honest. Jeez. Uh, really excited about this. We're uh, only a third through and he, he's coming after some people. So this has been solid. Let's dive back in. 25 and his daddy tells him listen here son while you're sitting in that palace that don't mean that you won 26 a business shift he switches business to arms he's 27 dealing nuclear and shells in iran 28 inside the senate money bought him a seat he's 29 a role of counsel in the president's suite now he's 30 his daddy says you're losing the race you're just a servant to the king not even in second place 31 a big maneuver for his daddy's approval moving in over borders from the exports out of Cuba 32 moving grams, growing kilos to tons He's 33 filling warehouses with powder and guns 34 turf war with nobody to stop it Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket Look at that phone 35, he gets the call I'm sorry son, but it's your father Had a heart attack, I'm sorry he's gone 36, getting pissed off, abusing his product 37, eyes glazed, disposition demonic 38, with a prostitute, a moment of passion Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon 39, getting reckless and hungry for power Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed they retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward A bullet buried in his vertebra And one in his leg The doctor sighs and says I don't think you'll be walking again Fuck Jeez. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy He was 40 and he cursed the words Mine, mine, gimme 41 he wasn't walking 42 not walking quickly 43 never running round the pavements of his city 44 inside a palace with a mountain of gold But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need And his example is exaggerated versions of me And it's a version of him And it's a version of she And it's a version of you There's no escaping the blame The way we live is parasitic Fuck the money and fame Cut the music This isn't entertainment, this is real life. The way we live is lunacy, community, it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention, politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas, did I mention? Borders an invention, law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other? My solution? Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. 
But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd, if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Forty-five. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking again. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a 45 caliber aimed at his brain. 45 a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, there is a lot to unpack in this. There is a lot of truth in this, and, and you look at the rat race that, that that everybody participates in and, and money and things of that nature it is all man-made at the heart of it it's all just a creation of of what what people have done humans have done what well, decide what is valuable decide what is worth something else and uh i think he's looking at it as a perspective of uh, there was a line Lamborghinis for life. Why are we selling souls? And there's something to be said about that. And I understand coming from a have, it's difficult to owe money and, and things aren't going to buy you the happiness. And then you have the have nots who uh, haven't been wealthy and they're like, well, you know, you just, you just need the perspective. And I think a perspective f from everybody else. Is hard to gain especially today I think perspective from another person whether that be um, somebody not in your position uh, lower on the social pole or lower on the fiscal pole or higher on the fiscal pole and higher on the social pole gaining perspective from any of those is difficult and I can see where you know the guy had money and, and and everything that he could want the mansion and the cars and everything but he got shot so he couldn't walk so is it really worth it you know and and some people will say yes some people will say no i think at its base uh what we need to look at is that people are imperfect and i i think through all the amount of evolution i think all of the amount um that we've learned and, and, and brought forward, we're still really bad at life. I, th I think we are. And um, I don't know anybody is. I don't know anything is really good at it. We're, we're in the imperfect uh, module of cells that eventually expire. And most everything living is that same basic concept, an imperfection, or an imperfect collection of cells. And uh, we like to think we have the higher understanding and the higher this and the higher that, but at the end of the day, whether it's a, a butterfly or a lion or a human, everything born and everything dies. Only the humans pay taxes. And that's what the old saying has been for years, is, oh, well, the only two things is death and taxes. Well, humans pay taxes, and that's... I, I don't know anybody else that pays taxes, or anything else that pays taxes. They just go about and survive. So, there's a lot to be unpacked there. Um, let me know in the comments below. You help me unpack that stuff. I know I was agape um, for a lot of that, because he was just... just 
just cashing in truth after truth after truth. And it's difficult because when it's a hard truth, uh, uh, many of us don't want to don't want to face those things, don't want to have those conversations. Um, I'm not saying that we can build uh, utopias because I'm not sure humans can because humans are imperfect. It's just what it is. Humans are not a great vessel for uh, survival. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to go check it out, the link will be in the description below. I know this is very heavy. I didn't know we were getting into that one that hardcore. Um, but love Ren, love what he does. And he, he just spits truth, man. And he does a really good job. I love the marriage of the video to the music to just the realism and, and him going this is not entertainment breaking that that fourth wall solid so if you want to go check it out again the link will be in the description below on your way there you can hit that subscribe button to help support the channel i would appreciate it so much and um, let me know what you think in the comments guys talk to me about it keep it clean i know that not everybody agrees with me and um, i love to hear different perspectives and learn and engage from everybody else so Keep it clean, keep it with um, uh, an import of your perspective rather than uh, disagreeing. Just just help other people understand your perspective, because that's all I do. I don't want to be right or wrong. I just tell you guys what I think from my perspective, and that's all I can really tell you and, and it is from my perspective. So I'm always open to learning from others as long as it's clean and comes with uh, imbued with that type of feeling you know um, so let me know let me know what you think I think it was great I think it's uh, one of those things that that people don't want to face but Ren's throwing it out there and I like it so we will see you guys next time but for now that is a yeehaw yeehaw and uh, it's thought provoking yeehaw so have fun with this one guys keep it clean in the comments and i will chat with as many of you as i can but until next time fam jam i'm out